My name is Itai and I'm a permaculturist and I work with permaculture design and agroecological systems. I want to give you a little tour of this system that we have here. Uh, come with me and I'll show you. We have some of the most important foods in the world growing right here. This is Moringa olifera. This is a, one of the highest, most nutrient dense plants in the world. Uh, it's a tree, but here we grow it as a shrub. We harvest it constantly, so it has a lot of foliage. This is chaya, <coughs> which is another one of the most important nutrient dense plants in the world. It's very easy to grow. Right here. Right here we have cranberry hibiscus, a tropical plant, very easy to grow, very delicious. Very high nutrients, very rich with iron and calcium. Here we have another one of the most important plants, katuk. Mm. Tastes like peanuts and very nutrient dense. Let's go inside this uh, greenhouse. This greenhouse is built with bamboo and uh, cultivated wood and it's an aqua, uh, aquaculture system, aquaponic system. Uh, I'll explain. I mean. Hmm, delicious. So, what we have here, our grow bed that are similar to, hydro, uh, to hydroponic system. You can see that there are different vegetables. Some of them grow in more uh, more classic uh, substrate of, of volcanic rock. And these beds are filled with charcoal, biochar that we produce here. I, I'll show you later. And we have all kinds of plants. We're experimenting a little bit with the different substrates. So far, the charcoal, the biochar, seems to have the best results. We have um, lettuce, onion chives, mizuna, kale, uh, mustard, cilantro, radishes, um, beets, pak choy, um, basil, tomato over there, all kinds of lettuce, peppers, eggplants, hmm, these are cabbages. And come on, I'll show you where this water is coming from, just so you have a better idea of how these plants grow in, in water. Some more of the same here, some parsley, some purple bok choy, cabbage, Chinese mustard, ginger mustard, hot. And this is where the water is coming from. So these are our uh, fish tanks. We have four different kinds of fish and we also have the freshwater prawns and, and freshwater clams. Come and see them. This, this tank has three, three organisms together. These beautiful ones are aquatic escargot, delicious uh, for who likes uh, to eat escargot. We have pink tilapia there, and we have a native fish that is called guapote. Uh, it's a cyclid, and it's considered to be one of the best freshwater fish that are native to Costa Rica. In this tank here, we have the freshwater prawns and larger pink tilapia. And some freshwater clams over there in the bottom. I don't know if you can see. In this tank here we have catfish. And this catfish is considered to be one of the best uh, fishes to eat. It's uh, it's w a kind that doesn't like to live in the in the muddy bottom, the murky bottom. It, it actually prefers to have very clean and fresh water, so it doesn't taste uh, muddy. It, it has a very very pleasant taste and has a wh white flesh, delicious. And then here we just have some fry, some baby tilapias. At the moment we're feeding them with the uh, with pelleted food because the system is very new but I'll show you what what's cooking over here is that we are cultivating worms the senia fetida red californian worms we cultivate them in manure horse and cow manure 
and we do that for several purposes. One of them is that we harvest the precious uh, liquid that comes off of that cultivation system. This we collect here and this is one of the best uh, organic fertilizers. We spray it regularly on the foliage of the plants with this little pump here three times a week and that supplies most of the uh, trace minerals and nutrients that the plants need. Um, and on top of that, we also harvest the, the humus that is left there for our other cultivation systems, terrestrial. And the worms, we would feed them to the, to the fish. This is part of their diet. And we're also propagating black soldier uh, fly larva to feed the fish, one of the highest protein content foods on earth. Uh, that's in the process of making, that's, they're not, not ready quite yet. And that's it for the aquaponics so far.